Hips back, chest down. Bend over a little bit. Nipples down. The low bar squat variation that we use in our gym is done for a reason. It's because it involves the most muscle mass over the longest effective range of motion that allows us to lift the most weight safely. The bar position will necessitate a more horizontal back angle at the bottom of the squat. We often cue this by telling our lifters to bend over, point their chest down, or point their nipples to the floor, or something to that effect. A lot of times this is misinterpreted as actually folding over on the way down, which kills seraphic extension and loses the rigidity of your back. Let's look at how this is supposed to look right and how to cue this properly. One of the key features of the low bar squat is a more horizontal back angle at the bottom. Now we'll often cue this to our lifters by telling them to bend over or to point their chest down when they're doing this. A lot come in here, very vertical on day one, we have to fix this problem. However, it's sometimes misinterpreted as actually folding over instead of reaching the hips back and what we have is a problem that loses thoracic extension and the bar will start rolling up the back and the entire back becomes loose. I'll show you what that looks like. So the chest down cue can be misinterpreted as actually folding over on the way down in an effort to point the chest down. Now what happens, you see I lose thoracic extension, the bar will creep up my back and even worse, now the entire back segment is round and is a very, very poor transmitter of force. This is a good way to miss a squat. Let's see how to do this right. So the back angle is established by actually reaching the hips back, opening the knees and setting them at the same time. As the hips go back and the knees go out, our more horizontal back angle is established. But we're gonna do this with a contracted thoracic spine by raising our sternum. We're not gonna lift the chest out of the hole, but the chest being contracted and squeezed keeps my shoulder blades tight keeps a shelf on the bar ready to hold the barbell. And now I've got a much more rigid segment so I can transfer force out of the bottom of the squat. So it looks like this. My step, I'm gonna stick my chest out, squeeze my upper back. Now my back angle is established by reaching my hips back and shoving my knees out, not actually folding over. So. And as you can see, the chest is still pointed down with a rigid back. That's how it should look. We hope this helps. Remember, chest down does not mean fold over. It means get your hips back, shove your knees out, and keep your sternum raised, keep your upper back tight. If you'd like to learn how the barbell can transform your body, literally change your life, there's no better place to be than right here with us at Brussels Barbell. Strength matters. Find yours with us.